GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's, offers fully covered loading and unloading area with individual pin-coated gate and door access. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. All right, everybody, it is our morning meeting. It's a special version of our starting lineup today. Morning meeting, Chamorro culture, mess Chamorro, Biba mess Chamorro, everybody. Chamorro culture is alive and well here on the island. It's wonderful to celebrate it, not just in March, but year round. I got my buddy Tomas Torres here. You may have recognized him because we were promoting a special, special introductory session, a workshop that Tomas, you were doing over at Punta dos Amantes on Tuman Bay. It was a gorgeous day. It was well attended. Thank you so much for doing that and no for problem. sharing your gift um, with those that attended. No and I'm actually getting get like a little bit of a private lesson that we're now sharing with you guys. So um, if people want to make this right alongside with us at home, uh, what do they have to do? And are there any special considerations that they have to make? Because a lot of people are just going to go outside and they're going to say, okay, I got, you know, coconut trees outside. But what do they have to do to get the right kind of frog? So um, when you really look at your coconut leaf, the best um, best way to do it is you don't want to cut it from the smaller, younger coconut trees. You want to give it at least uh, three years so that um, it is uh, healthy enough to to uh, grow. Because uh, if you get the smaller trees, it will um, tend to look ugly and might uh, might die. Uh, and you want to make sure that the leaves are longer so that you, you're able to make a nice basket or if you want you can make it a deeper basket okay that's about like what two and a half feet maybe yes, yes. okay and so you want your leaves to be not so much immature but not to the point where they're already like falling off the tree and you just right. go outside in the garage and just like pick it up right, right. so you you may have to be careful like when you guys when you harvest these things because we don't want anybody getting hurt right. okay so what are we going to make today Tomas? today we're going to make a small basket and um Depending on how big or how small you want it, today we're gonna use uh, 10 leaves, 10 to 12 leaves, right? So you're gonna be able to do the bigger version of the basket. Okay. I'm do the smaller version. Of the and basket. you guys have a major advantage watching us on Facebook and YouTube because you guys have the advantage of being able to hit the pause button. So if you don't understand something, even scrub back a few seconds. Make sure you follow along, and you're gonna see me basically learning how to do this. I have not done this since the fourth grade, literally. So you're gonna see me do this in real time. So. Make sure you use those play controls. All right, all right, here we go. So, the first step you want to do, because we're not going to tie it, all right? We're going to weave it without tying it. So, mm. first step, you want to take the first leaf here, and because yours is the newest and the opposite side, uh, you want to go over, you see here, go over the other leaf. So, if you're going to, if you're new, it's on this side, uh, you're going to come from the top side here. And oh okay. Yeah. Does it does it matter if you're le lefty or righty? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, it all depends on. You typically the, weave the in the side. same direction. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you fo you follow the the new hook. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. and then just continue on to the end of the leaf. Okay. So we take the next one again, go over the next leaf, and down. So I'm taking the very first one from the top, or the mm -hmm. the, the second one. The and second going one. Down. Okay. The yes. second one and going. Uh, oh no, that's the first one. Yeah, and then take the second one and all, it's all gonna go down. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then continue on all the way to the end. Nope, was that correct? Mm hmm. Okay. And so we go down like that, yes. And it's pretty much a repetitive step all the way to the end. Okay, and this is your fam. Whoops, this is your family's passion, Tomas, because your grandmother was actually honored, um, and she is recognized on Guam as a master weaver. Yes, yes. And how long did it take your uh, your beloved Nana to to teach you how to get this? And how how long did it take you to become you know? Well, when I was younger, um, sometimes before school started, I would actually run to my grandma's house and. You know, she'd be sitting on her mat, weaving small uh, miniature baskets, uh, miniature hats. And my dad would always call in the morning, is my boy there? You know, it's almost <laughs> yeah. time for school. And, you know, it's, it's pretty cool because I just stay right across the school that I go to. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and then when you come up to the last one, so you got one more there and just lock it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you go all the way across. Wow. Okay, I think... See that right there? Tomas, you can tell where Tomas got me started. 
where I took over, so you get that little, uh, let's say a happy little accident, you know, if we were like Bob Ross, but then I think I started to get it. Yes, you did. It's all, it's all about happy little trees. <laughs> happy little trees. Yeah. All right. Shout so out now, to Bob Ross, rest in peace. We're gonna take the last one there, and then we're gonna form that circle. And then the, at the beginning, we wanna lock this leaf inside the beginning there. So take the tip here, and then you wanna try to pull out that first one there and then slide it in. Okay, so there isn't like a natural like hook right in there, right? Yes, the yes. Oh, okay. Okay, this this material is I must say is very very pliable. Like mm -hmm. I I don't really feel like it's all gonna come apart on me. So and then when you're weaving, you don't want to try to get the the fully developed coconut leaves. You want to try to get um, the leaf before that, so that when you're actually weaving it. The uh, it's more flexible and it is pliable. Okay. With the full grown leaves, the new hood is uh, pretty dried. And it's very so, brittle too. Yes, yeah. it's very brittle. Okay, so these things could wind up cracking on you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I know I've bent that there. And by all means, everybody, since you're watching watching on social media, I would appreciate if you guys gave like a thumbs up. If you, if you guys want to laugh, that's cool too, because I'm sure you guys are having fun so, making this on yourself. I remember, you can see me, I can't see you. <laughs> so you take this last one here, and you lock this one here, and this last one, you fold the tip here. Oh, okay. And then There's you one. slide it right in there. From the top. Oaks. You wanna try to get it out this way. Mm -hmm. Oops. So just bend it over and. Uh, yeah. oh, did I get the right one? Uh, no, you got the. Okay. Yeah, this one. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I got into computers. <laughs> but th this is basically this is this is an art form that has existed for our people for hundreds of years. This is this li really is you know home, home economics, um, for our ancestors. Oops. And just pull it all the way through and we're going to use a, a clothespin as a chigi so that we don't have to secure it or tie it then and right after i talk about our ancestors we come up with like modern technology so what, what could you if you don't have a clothespin and everything what, what else could you use then? um well i usually just wing it and just uh when you take this part here you're gonna want to stick it in the inside and just pull it when you pull it tight it would. It shouldn't uh, come out unless it's okay. loose. So let's uh, use that first. I mean, I guess if you have a piece of twine or something, yeah, you could. Or, yeah, or you can secure it and tie okay. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But hey, oh. five cents at you know your local grocery store. So. So we already formed the circle here. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna flip it upside down, and we're gonna get half of what we have. So. If you have 10, you're gonna use uh, five leaf, but I think you have 12 leaf. Two, three, there. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12. I, exactly. So we're gonna hold six. The ones facing me or the ones facing out towards? Um, facing you. Okay. So you wanna keep it in One, order. Two, three. You wanna hold it like this. Okay. So you can let that one go and then just turn this one <laughs> this way. Now. You take the first leaf from the back here, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna go over all the rest here. I'm gonna go to the first leaf. So before you get to the first leaf, you're gonna go under like that. So oh, come around this side, mm -hmm. and then put it through here. Through this, okay. This one go, and then open it up like this, and then you work your way this way. So you hold this right here. So every time you take the next leaf, you go the other leaf before it. The second, okay. The second leaf under and then over. So under this one? Yes. And then over. Aha! Uh -huh, okay. Then just. Uh, so you don't want to make it too tight. I was just about to ask you that because I'm, I'm afraid I'm afraid I might shatter it. And then get the next one and then continue on. Okay, but again, this is um, 
the leaves are very, very, are very pliable. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, there's only so much pressure you can put onto it before you know yes. your structure is going to give way. So. Right, right. Okay, so it's this one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And just continue on with the rest of the leaves until you come up to the re the the leaves that are on the the clothespins there. And as I get further and further, this is where it starts to get tricky because, like, it's it's starting to get a little bit more tight. Yes. And I guess that means I know I'm doing it right. right? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Now, when our ancestors, Tomas, were making these um, these structures, these baskets, you know, it's it's well known in, in your lesson, mm -hmm. which again we're very appreciative of you, where you were teaching students how to create the uh, ketupa, which yes. is what our people have used for generations to to store and then to cook rice. Mm -hmm. uh, what types of of materials could they use, like it, when, within this basket? It's it's like a serving tray, and it's also decorative, right? Yes. Yeah, so with, with the, um, the coconut leaves, you can you make it a a plate, a platter. Uh, we can make a, a basket like what we're making, or if you wanna, um, you can make uh, different types of baskets. Uh, diff they have their different forms. You can make a flat basket, a square basket, um, <clears throat> also like a, a double rim basket, which is much, much more difficult to make mm -hmm. because you're using two rims put together and you have twice as many leaves, which is uh, pretty, uh, Difficult. Oh, you missed one there. Ah, okay. It felt a little weird. So that goes here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Lesson learned, everybody. If you if you're stitching, looks kind of awkward. Work backwards and make sure you didn't miss a uh, one of the leaves like I just did. And then that one would be here. Or? Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna use the the leaves that you have there that's crimped on the clothespin. So the first, the next leaf, which is this one, right? You're gonna slowly take it out of the clothespin and just continue on from where you left off on the weaving. Okay, this part's really tricky. Mine is starting to look nothing like yours, I gotta tell you. <laughs> it's getting there, it's getting there. And how, how are you guys doing at home? I hope you guys are uh, making good progress. When you're weaving, patience is always a virtue. Okay. Yeah. Th does it require like a real a real easy touch? Because obviously the, the Manumko could do this and they're masters of the craft. Mm -hmm. And you know, so this it seems like it would be like very, very therapeutic. You do this in the afternoon, right, you know, you get your right. soap operas on TV. You know, these days, you know, the young people would do it. They got TikTok on their iPad <laughs> and you know. That there okay, will help you on your own. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Okay, yes. so this is the first one from and the other side. Here, and you lock it oh, okay. There. And you, can, you can actually just pull it all the way in so that it will start to close. And you get the next one. You got this one? Yes. Okay. Is it? So let's turn this down. And this is the one over here. Ooh, what happened? Where did it go? Oh yes. Okay, this one here. You can leave it down Let the record thing. show that Tomas was trying to teach me how to make a basket. His instructions were very, very clear. I wound up making a basketball, I think. <laughs> next one there. Which by the way our people are very good at too. So under this one. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I think with practice, I, I probably would be able to get better because I could, I could already see ahead of time what the patterns that I know I was going for. Um, and this one, mm -hmm. okay, okay. 
starting to get the hang of it, everybody. Hope you guys are too. Now remember, if you weren't able to make it to um, our workshops at Two Lovers Point at beautiful Punta Dos Amantes, don't worry. Or if you're not on island and you weren't able to attend, um, it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to learn uh, the arts and crafts of our people. But we're going to have digital demos just like the one we're doing right now with Tomas um, throughout Mess Tomorrow. So we want to involve everybody because this, this type of artwork, it's not only fun to do and it's not only very worthwhile, it's also... Um, critical that the young people learn how to do this. And it's a, it's a great activity for the family to do together. Mm -hmm. Especially when you've got a really good teacher like Tomas, who's making sure I do this right. <laughs> how, can I just ask how, uh, how uh, let's just say disciplinarian was your Nana when, when you were doing this? Like, was it, cause uh, so like, she's teaching you the Antigua technique. Yeah, right? so yeah. Every, every five steps, just take it out and do it again. Ah. Every five steps, take it out and do it again. Uh -huh. The wax on, wax off technique, <laughs> yes. right? So she was very thorough and she, you know, she wanted to make sure that you get the first three steps before you move on and try to finish it off. So, Because if you were to uh, move on and finish it off right away you and then you're going to try and do it by yourself, oh, I forgot. Yeah. So now I know why she says every every five or three steps, take it out, do it again. Take it out, do it again. Repetition, practice yes. makes perfect. Practice right. makes Look perfect. at that so far, you guys. Wow. Yeah. So now what you want to do is uh, you want to take this leaf here and we're going to work it this way. So from here, you want to push this down. You go over the, the next leaf, under and out. You got that? Oh, okay. So we're trying to make it kind of like a cross stitch. Yes. And okay. make it more uh, wider. So with this next one too, mm -hmm. right on the, okay. So we're actually shortening the slack, it seems. Yeah. And we're making, and I can already feel it that the, uh, that the basket structure that Tomas is showing me how to make it, uh, it's getting very, very tight. Oh, okay. And trust me, if you guys are having problems with this at home, leave, leave some comments, let us know. We'll jump in um, and we'll try and give you guys help. But uh, the, whoops, there you go. You saw me right there. These little oopsies are uh, easily resolved. And once you're on like the second or third phase, everything starts to fall into place right now. You just gotta follow the patterns, right? Yes, follow okay. the patterns. Okay, and I think it, oops. Okay. So I am. Now I do have one question, Tomas, mm -hmm. about um, about how long these will actually uh, be preserved and how long this, um, you know, these these leaves will naturally sit. Because all, all of us know, if you've ever been on Guam for more than 24 hours, you know that no matter how, let's just say, no matter how cherry these leaves are, right? They can be like uh, young, they could be fully mature. With our humidity and our climate, at some point these are going to get brown, and they may even get like those little black dots. And if it's even if it rains like a little bit, they smell really, really nasty. So how yes. can we get these to actually stand the test of time? So um, the green, the leaves will actually stay green for about a good two days, and it will start to dry off because of the moisture and all the water coming out from the leaf. Now, if you want it to become a nice straight color. Um, just put it into the deep freeze with it being like a basket like this at least give it take uh two days in the deep freeze and then from then you take it out you let it sit in the sun let mm -hmm. it dry up and you know you can tell the difference if it's really dry already or if it's you can feel how it still has weight and that's interesting how you would put it in the freezer to actually draw the moisture out you're basically yes. just like you're just locking everything in right okay right. i never would have thought about it. see that that that's tomorrow engineering right there Take that, MIT. <laughs> and when you're at home doing this, you know, you may be making these, um, you know, either for for practical purposes, like if there's a fiesta coming mm -hmm. up or, you know, maybe for a church function yeah. or maybe just like even a gift, you've got like relatives visiting from the States and you want something to take back from them. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you're doing 
uh, patterns that are more complicated than this? So you're making more uh, more of these in one sitting. What, what do you do to pass the time? Do you like do you watch TV? Do you let Facebook just run? Or? Uh, well, I like to listen to music and weave at the same time, so okay. that you know you you have that calming of the the music, and then you know just going with the groove and weaving at the same time. It, okay. It's really um, uh, soothing. Much. What kind of music do you listen to? Uh, all kinds of music is nice, you know. Uh, even tomorrow music, the new uh, new uh, artisans that are coming up with their tomorrow music. They're they're all good. Everything. It's all on the person mm -hmm. on what type of music they're really interested in. Too. Now, if you want to make it more deeper, like how mine is getting, you can go. Uh, under over under one more time all the way around to make it uh, more deeper. so every single leaf just make it okay yes yes okay so you guys in the comments what would you guys do if when you're making these at home and you know based on how much fun we're having here today we hope you would continue to make these so uh, what's in your Spotify playlist when you make a uh, tomorrow craft so we would love to hear it so please let us know Now, I, I admittedly, I'm a heavy metal guy, and that, that's actually quite soothing to me just because I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. So I can see myself jamming, you know, some Metallica, you know, some Megadeth. Mm -hmm. How am I doing, Ken? Looks great to be honest. Okay. I'm pretty surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, partner. Yeah, Ken, Ken clearly had a lot of faith in me going into this. Okay, now when I reach like kind of like what's uh, what's the rim? How do I how do I tuck those pieces in? Uh, so I know there's a couple ones I, I think I missed. Yeah, maybe this one. Yeah, this here. guy's kind of mm -hmm. like sticking. So this goes underneath. Whoops. And you know what, I gotta tell you, from personal experience, you know, every, we always say in tomorrow culture, you know, we respect our elders, you know, you learn from your elders, but I gotta tell you, if you have your Nino, your Nina, an older uncle, one of your cousins, you know, even your neighbors, um, grandparents or something, even like somebody in church, they will take time out of their day to show you this. I mean, this is their passion, you know, and they love just perpetuating our culture. Oh, you kinda missed that one there. Oh yeah. This one right here, Let's take this one out. Go. I've seen that countless times is, is if you you just ask somebody and you said you know like go. can yeah. I bring can I bring you some rice and can you show me how to do like a like um you know coconut leaf weaving I mean they will take their time and they're they're so happy to do so so you know we can, we can learn from our elders man so now oh what happened there Oops, I went. Yeah. Uh, oops, double under. So, you know, uh, depending on the size that you want, you want it to be like kind of deep like mine, or you want it to be short and stubby. What you want to do <laughs> to finish short it off, and stubby, two two things that I, that I will never be described as, but uh, to just pull it slowly, pull it ah. to make the circle and the bottom tight. Okay, yeah, because like you see, exhibit A, exhibit B. I got some uh, work to do here. Okay, so we're gonna see how. Whoops, and it kind of is a balancing act right now. Yes, you got okay. Yes. So I'm gonna go around it. Oh, okay. I can. S there is a difference. And sometimes too, what I like to do when I, especially when they have concerts here, and you know, instead of having to carry your your bottle of water, I would make a small basket like this and have. Uh, Three strands come up to make up a side pot. Like a koozie. Like a koozie. Ah, yeah. okay. So you don't have to. Or I guess, you know, next time you go to the movies, you know, you could make one of these and, you know, you're not supposed to bring in drinks, but, you know, everybody <laughs> does. And it closes up like this. And once we get our nice tight seal, I guess. I'm gonna ask you guys to grade me, okay? I mean, okay, that's that's A plus plus right there, all right? That's advanced placement. 
in Chamorro Craft. This one, maybe. Uh, Possible to see at least. The it's, first it's, okay, what'd you say? Ken, sa Ken says I get a B minus. All right. Yeah. I, I could play sports, right? I got a 2.5. First wins is always the hardest, you know. After that, you know. The first ready. cut is the deepest. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. You can't put rice in there, but you can put something. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually use it as a gift basket. I made a ghost like monster from Pac-Man. Tomorrow cookies. Or like, oh, you know what? Uh, okay, I'm, I can kind of like massage it around and then... Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Well, it's just a matter of a... This is where the fine-tuning comes in. Oh, okay. And, uh, starting to come around. Okay. Now, you know you guys on Facebook. I'm, I hope that you guys have made more progress and quicker than I have. Please add a comment. Take a picture of your own basket and please add th those in the comments because we would love to see that. Tomas would love to see that, you know? Again, you know, it's our brothers and sisters sharing our gifts, imparting knowledge. So if you want, you can actually hold it like from the inside here. It should be a lot more easier for you. Oh, okay, yeah, Tomas just, you know, <laughs> you look like you're starting the lawnmower there, bro. You just, boom. I didn't realize you could pull it that hard. I was, I was really afraid I was going to break mine. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you. You looked like you were having the time of, of your life at our workshop. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it didn't seem at all like it was laborious to you and everything like that. Again, really good crowd came out. There were so many people. And I saw from some of the um, comments that we had on Instagram when we posted all the pictures there. They said, finally, people are not sitting there on their phones, you know, just distracted and everything like that. Everyone was completely paying attention. What was the experience like for you? Well, um, basically, is sharing the um, the trait, sharing the knowledge of you know our people, the Chamorro people. What we did back then, we we made uh, baskets, hats, you know, something useful to either keep us out of the sun, you know, or something to carry the fruits or vegetables we put inside the basket. Um, even like the katupa, you know cooking rice in it you know it's, it's somewhat um antique and not really not so many people practice it nowadays and you know you say oh what is that oh it's a rice basket not you can not only you can uh cook rice in it but if you want to be uh something you know bring in the new from the old you can make a two pets and hang it on your christmas tree mm -hmm. you know we've we've done uh Lots of small kind weaving trinkets, and we hung, hung it in our Christmas trees at home. You know, something new, yeah, with Man. the old. And then, if you want to finish it off, what you do is you take the, the top leaf here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to come around the next leaf, like somewhat similar how we started off, and go down. And then you just want to lock it into the next leaf. So oh, okay. Stays. So we're just following. Mm -hmm. Then same thing again. Fold inwards. So this is just actually to hide some of the slack. Uh, and then, you know, to try and not necessarily cut it off, but to make use of it and make the basket more stronger. Oh, okay. Oops, did I get that the right way? So I'm coming around. So you're going to actually yeah. be going this way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. And then go down. And then and then this one comes down? The one that you... This one here? You want to come down like that. And then put it into that. Ah, oh, okay. And, you know, I know I'm preaching to the choir here, guys. But, you know, from somebody who does, like, 99% of the work he does these days on a computer... And I've got a machine that like does all the work for me. I mean, there's still something to be said about, you know, being able to to create something with your hands and, you know, and then you actually have a functional object, you know. Can you believe we get paid to do this? <laughs> okay, so we talked about the type of uh, music you listen to, Tomas. I, I, I must ask you. Um, what's your ringtone right now? Uh, 
right now I have the, it's an oldies um, not really old maybe like uh, in the 90s uh, uh, you've changed me I forgot what it's called okay uh, yeah so you know back in the day when I was um, yes I would practice and weave a lot but you know with um, the new uh, of course money you need money to get around to do stuff to pay for bills mm -hmm. and on the side you know you you have your your um, your passion you know nowadays it's really hard to find good coconut leaves and of course here and there uh, we do I do do demonstrations to teach the kids to show them that you know you don't have to uh, be on your phone to enjoy the day you know you can be outside uh, you know playing or uh, going to the next nearest coconut tree and you know getting some coconut leaf off and you know weave something you know something that's part of the culture mm -hmm. pretty much uh, there's there's a good point to be made um not everybody has coconut trees outside their house especially for those of us who live in you know apartments or condos um is there a better part of the island to find you know coconut leaves that, that are good for this kind of art um well nowadays with the rhino rhinoceros beetle oh, eating man. up our trees it's really hard to find coconut leaf um i've actually tried using pandanus leaf hmm. um but it, it is a lot more difficult working with it rather than the coconut leaf because the coconut leaf you cut it you slice it you clean it uh, you're good to go with the pandanus leaf you cut it you got to be really careful when you clean it because on the side they have the thorns so if you pull it one way you're okay when you pull it the other way you got all those thorns that's what they got this uh the ce for you know when you get to the thorn part you just really clean it up and then it's like a waiting process. You have to um, wait for it to dry or uh, you can boil it and then lay it out in the sun and just let it, uh, let it dry up. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is a lot more work, but when you get used to it and, you know, the sky's the limit on how, how you want to uh, decorate it or style it. Okay. So I do have a, a few colleagues of mine, um, James Bamba, Mark Beneventi. These these guys. Oh, I know Mark. Yeah. These guys are up, so Mark? awesome. You know, they they make uh, covers for their flasks, or or um, they do um, power cords, and he, he puts uh, the pandanus in it. You know, the sky's the limit. It's all on yourself, and if you see it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. You just gotta keep trying, keep trying. Don't don't give up on the first three tries. You know. You get it. You're working. You're working on it. Mark's brother Walter is actually a uh, classmate of mine. Going all the way back to third grade. So nice, yeah. Nice. So shout out to both Mark and Walter. Okay, I have created the uh, the basket with a little bit of um, pizzazz. A, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, let, let's go with that. Yeah, pizzazz. I like that. Okay. I, I was gonna say uh, this Chamorro grenade. Let's call it that. No, let's not call it that. Okay, but yeah, pizzazz is, is much better. Thank you, I, appre I appreciate that. So, you know, it all depends on uh, the style. Sometimes some people would rather go uh, old fashioned and just go over under, over under. Um, with the new um, techniques they have, sometimes they go over two, under one, over three, under one, and it creates uh, a different look on the basket. So, mm -hmm. you know, your basket is unique, you're the only one that actually made it yourself and you know it takes time you know you really gotta um, uh, be a patient person to uh hey look who's here okay hey, pete. hey. pete come here pete okay this is pete pete anderson's right here one, one of our one of our directors right here pete look at this oh that that's cute hey that's good for mama Yes, you can have it as a mama and bag. And Pete's from, Pete's from Santa Rita, so he's oh, seen, you know, his share of baskets. <laughs> oh, okay. There we have it. All right, so give me a grade, Pete. On a scale of 1 to 10. Or A, or a to F? 7. S wow. 7? Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Pete. See that? Thought thought north. <laughs> <laughs> Pete's from Santa Rita. <laughs> 
Pete, Pete himself is, is a very master guy. That's one of our, our directors there. So, okay. So, Tomas, thank you so much once again. You're I mean, welcome. we can't thank you enough for, you know, this is your, your passion, your gift. You know, you're a craftsman. You're an artisan. Um, most importantly, though, you're a friend and you're a true Guamanian. So, you thank know, you, for you. sharing this part of tomorrow history and culture with us, you know, we can't thank you enough. No problem. Okay. And then where can people find you on uh, Instagram if they want to see some of your creations? Oh. On Instagram, uh, my ID number is... Uh, uh, Tomas C. Torres uh, or you can also uh, look me up on Facebook and you'll see some of my weavings there too now that's Tomas with the H or just T-O-M-A-S yeah, with the H with the H yes. T-H-O-M-A-S C. Torres okay okay. alright another aspect of how we celebrate tomorrow culture Biba mess tomorrow Biba Tomas C. Tomas C. Tomas alright alright everybody thanks so much make sure to share your own creations with us in the comments we'll see you next time